First things first, we're gonna work on our feet and work our way up the body with this putt. So all the motion basically is you're stepped right on your disc here or your marker, and then it's a small lean back and a very gentle step through as you throw the disc. Now, getting into it in a little more detail, you're gonna wanna stay nice and square to the basket. And that way everything is in to out, all within that square range so your margin for error isn't getting too wide. You're not trying to come through, so you're not gonna have horrible release points with this putt. Typically, when you're a little further away, you're gonna be leaning back and down and coming up and through with that step putt to get that further distance. The most important thing, though, is you do not wanna get a foot fault. So what happens here is if you come through and step and don't let go, you're at a foot fault. You're stepping in front of your disc. If you're in the air with both of your feet, you're also at a foot fault there. So what's most important here is getting the timing down to at this point be released and following through with your feet. So just all in one motion, it's down, step, release before that back foot comes off the ground. Moving up your body to the arms, what's really important is keeping it simple, really just getting this straight in and straight out motion so it doesn't vary. And the most effective way to do this is spin putting. And if you don't know how to spin putt, check out this up above. And really, the, the more simple it is, the better. A great example of this would be um, Chris Dickerson. Just super simple. His form is just straight, and then he explodes out straight forward like that. And it's really effective. You get a lot of distance with that spin putt, and you're very accurate outside of the circle. So make sure to practice this and really get your release point down straight at the basket. So I'm gonna putt this real quick, just kind of show you. And my thought process is release point in, out at the basket and if you couldn't hear that it went in I'll do one more real quick just so you can see straight in straight out at the basket at the cage and really the, the reason why you'd use this putt is to maintain accuracy outside of the circle to really be consistent outside the circle because you're spinning it at the basket and another reason is to add distance and really the you can get really far with this bas with this putt, even if you're not making it. This could be a great technique to just laying up for a par from as far as like 90 feet if you if you really get the technique down. I'm 60 feet out right now, um, and really I'm trying to run this. I know I'm not going to go too far past the basket. I'm really trying to make it straight forward, give it a good run, and you know 60 feet really isn't that bad when you're step putting. Ooh, hit the cage. Right here, I'm 90 feet away from the basket and a lot of people might try to throw this, but really, if I can land it just a couple feet away with the step putt and really make sure I'm accurate, then I'm, I'm all about that. So, let's see if we can do it real quick. I mean, that's, that's two feet away from the basket right there. A little wide, but I'm gonna try to make this one. Park that one, try to run it here. A uh, little short, landed right in front of the basket, but I mean, I'll take that all day on a step putt. So that's really one of the key things and the advantages of a step putt is getting that distance while maintaining accuracy. About 35 feet, this is where I really like to step putt, just outside the circle, because I can really just go after it and go straight at the basket. And cash it in. I just feel like I just maintain so much accuracy and can really just go after the basket when I'm step putting. So that is it, everybody. Little quick tip on step putting and something that you should definitely have in your arsenal and be able to pull out when you need it. So make sure to check out our merch down below, Grow the Sport. That's our biggest goal. We love growing the sport and bringing new people on. And Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell notifications, and we will see you in the next one. Rip and discs, we're out.